sure I'm going to get the time and the spot on this, Justin, but thank you. Um, this is easier because Justin's already given you an overview of um, the Asia Pacific market. And of course, it's boom time, it's wonderful, everything's running extremely well. The, the downturn was an unexpected blessing for Asia Pacific because what happened is that China invested internally. And when the tax are turned back on in the Western world, then China is going to go exponential because all those factories that were providing products for the Western world um, are now providing products internally for China itself. So as Justin says, it's, it's boom time. I'm a consultant, and what I'm concerned about is where we go next uh, with this wonderful opportunity that we've got, because to date we've been dealing with a developing nation, developing countries, and now we're dealing with developed countries. And regulation is going to become stricter. We've got uh, quality of construction will improve, the quality of control and planning will improve, and there will be a great degree of concern about sustainability and issues of, of uh, energy consciousness. So with the boom comes also the opportunity to be a lot more holistic, a lot more careful in our thinking. So whilst the Western world is, uh, is uh, in a bad shape right now, it still has a lot to offer us. We have here the opportunity to build the Western world, of course, has uh, the advantage of more developed concerns about sustainability and planning that we need to bring in so that we build well for the next few years. And I think this is the, the strongest message that I want to give is let's build well for the next 10 years. We are going to have a wonderful time, which is the time that we are going to form our cities for the future. These are the new cities of China in the Asia Pacific region, and we need to build them well for our future. Um, just on a very brief scan, uh, obviously my three friends here are more concerned with the uh, private sector, but IDIS of course works a lot within the public sector. And all the governments of the Asia Pacific region were extremely acute in dealing with downturn and investing in infrastructure which was absolutely wonderful because it kept the likes of Alinus and other consulting companies running. More importantly, it created the infrastructure that we are going to need in the next 10 years as we build our cities. And I think Shanghai Expo is a wonderful example of forethought, great forethought on behalf of the Shanghai government in providing those six lane roads to develop the land that Shanghai Expo was sitting upon. And this is what uh, China is excellent at its fourth order planning. So, as we move forward, infrastructure, the development of the railways in China, the development of railways in Singapore and Hong Kong, and in Vietnam, is going to be incredibly important. And there's another message I want to give railway. Railway above road is the way to go for the future, the sustainability and energy consciousness. I'm going to stop there, just about running out of time. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.